What's up everyone, it's DKP2488 here again, and today we are doing a Throwback Thursday review, and I am filming this on a Sunday actually, because these last few weeks I have completely forgotten, <laughs> forgotten um, doing a Throwback Thursday review, so I'm hoping maybe, I don't know, this may work, if, if I film it earlier, maybe it'll pop into my mind that hey, I have a video to upload, you know, but anyway, so, yeah. Throwback Thursday review on Chase Elliott's 2014 Chicago Land Race version. I uh, got it for 35 bucks on um, Plan B Sales' uh, Black Friday event. And yeah, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, yeah, usually you wouldn't see a Throwback Thursday review on something this recent, you know, two years ago. Well, almost. Um, last year. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, I'll, I'll do it anyway. I'm, I'm running out almost. Still have a few, but yeah. I just thought, you know, maybe, maybe we can just do it on this cool one. But yeah, okay. Where did, oh, put it over there. Uh, yeah, before we get to the diecast here, um, yeah. box. This the regular, um, Nationwide Series box here. Yeah, everything. Everything right there. Um, one of, 1,201 produced that that will focus oh, no, I give up you heard me uh, schedule yeah all that um, so yeah it comes with a bag of confetti which apparently I've heard um, it was windy and they shot the confetti off because there's no confetti on the die cast and the confetti went everywhere um, don't sorry that door slamming um, yeah winner's card here Don't try to pause to read it because this camera isn't very good. But anyway, so we'll get to it here. Here it is. So we'll start out with the sponsors here. Oh yeah, by the way, no backgrounds. I have my Christmas stuff up and the lights are not on, unfortunately. All the way over there. So yeah, front nine, Chevy Camaro, uh, Junior Motorsports. On the side, got Goodyear, his will contingencies, um, got nine, Napa Auto Parts. Uh, down there you got Mac Tools, Bosch, and something else, can't see. Uh, you got Twitter, and at Chase Elliott, uh, Safety Clean. I cannot read that, I'm sorry, my eyes are bad, so yeah. Beepco, maybe? I don't know. Napa Auto Care Center and then Miller something. Yeah, I'm sorry. My eyes are really bad. If you've seen my my previous videos. Um, C-Pillar, there you got uh, Exalta and Valvoline. Um, quarter panel. You got great clips. Um, the, the RE, you know, that, you know those guys. Uh, American Ethanol, by the way. Um... Rocky custom trucks and yeah, a bunch of other stuff, whatever that says. I'm sorry. Um, on the back, you got Napa, Chevy, uh, Camaro with the rookie stripe. Uh, hashtag when I was 18 with the camera right in the middle of the uh, phrase there. Nine, if I did not say that. It's, it's pretty much the same as the left paint scheme wise. Oh, and sponsor wise, sorry. Um, deck lid, you got Napa Auto Parts. And on the top, you got nine and Napa Know How. And Nationwide right there. And my DIN number is, you can't see, 437. So we'll uh, open up the hood and everything. You got Chevy under there, which, yes, I know these things can go that high. Um, oh, yeah, you didn't see the engine, but you know. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, you, know, you know how the detail is. It's really none. Um, inside there, God, I don't want to tilt this thing over, um, yeah, you can't really see it in there, because it is dark out, and usually I have lights on the die cast, so yeah, roof lats function is kind of hard on these Xfinity, there we go, one came up, um, so yeah, 
paint scheme. I'm not really going to go over it. Um, I I don't know. I I mean it's just pretty much the same as always, really. And I'm not a best. I'm not the best paint scheme reviewer. Um, but anyway, race version. Uh, really, pretty much almost black on the uh, front nose there. Everywhere where you see yellow is where you can really see it. Yeah, almost a black color. Um, on the Napa, you got yeah, whatever you want to call it, dirt or rubber buildup. Or just rubber, I mean. Um, let's see. Yeah, pretty much dirty down the whole side. You got a door handle, whatever those are. Um, yeah, a little bit of rubber build up right there. Uh, yeah, completely, you know, make, makes the rookie stripe really, you know, really dark, I guess. Uh, Probably my favorite side because it has more race version than the rest. Um, yeah, I can't. I can't quite mm, recall. Um, I do remember watching uh, some of this race, but I, is that I, I can't remember if that like is that not supposed to be there? Or is that just something that yeah I don't remember. Um, we got some scratches over the auto parts. Um, of course, the nine and pretty much everything else on the side is all dirty. Uh, nothing else on the top. Nine's a little bit dirty on the top, but yeah. Uh, also, the tire right here is, well, you can't see, but uh, there you go. You can see a little bit better. Tire's kind of, you know, messed up. I, I can't give you a good view. Uh, maybe. Yeah, tire's a little bit messed up, but God, I feel like this is a long review. Uh, direct Thursdays is usually a little bit longer for some reason. But yeah, that's it. There's that. I think this is, would be my 90th video. So in 10 videos, we do a collection update. Which I had to do some cleaning up. Because I decided something. Um, if you did not see my last video. Of what what do I do with my collection? I actually... Um, I, I put my boxes up there. That you can not really see. Because of the light. Um, which they used to be uh, under those 164s. Under that curtain. And so, yeah, I'm going to put this thing, take the cabinets off, and put it under there. And then put all my Gordon Race versions and a big collection on those shelves. And then probably maybe make another shelf down there. Possibly. Um, can't really see. Down there, that's where boxes used to be. Um, and, yeah, I'll probably put all that stuff up there because it's in a, yeah, it's in a weird order right now. But anyway. Yeah. So... Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for